And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Fate Fortune. So this deck is kind of similar to the Plunder Control that we played earlier where we splashed PNZ in a heavy bilge water deck. We have a lot of the same stuff going on here, but we're going to be splashing Ionia and we're playing Misfortune, not Gangplank for our champions. And, you know, Twisted Fate and Misfortune together, if you've ever seen them like on the battlefield at the same time, um, I think it's whenever they're on opposing sides, not together, but um, you know, Misfortune will say Fate, and Twisted Fate will say Fortune. You know, they'll just kind of acknowledge each other, um, but not the most positively, but that's pretty cool. But that's what we're going to name our deck, Fate, Fortune. So we're going to be pretty aggressive here with Monkey Idols doing the damage, Misfortune dealing damage, us getting uh, multiple bodies in play with like those petty officers and, and things like that and all the direct nexus damage this deck can do with warning shots and mega rains yordle grifters even riptide rex so we're gonna be aggressive uh bilge water not really controlling everything but you know just trying to get as much nexus damage as we can in there and then using ionia for the control elements of protect protection three denies protecting our Misfortune and Twisted Fate and to Will of Ionia's um, because this format has tons and tons of large units that you want to bounce. And so Will of Ionia can bounce something and set the opponent back quite a bit um, while we're in there getting the damage in. Especially Monkey Idol is probably going to be a real big part of our deck, to be honest. So that's what we got. Let's give it a try. Fate, Fortune. Going to go play five games over in Ranked. So, tons of Riptide Rex and Sejuani today. Alright, what do we got? I don't know. I don't know if I should keep Riptide Rex or not. It, it is just a great card. Maybe I should just keep it. I mean, our hand's pretty decent. We won't keep it. <clears throat> so my plan here, my plan was, we have the attack token, so we'll have the attack token on turn three. So my plan was Petty Officer on three with the attack token, and then Monkey Idol on their turn on four when we don't have the attack token. That will then make the, the Powder Monkey on our turn. Now this may change a little bit. Now we have Misfortune. Um, so we can lead with that on three if we decide to. Over Petty Officer. I'm not sure. I kind of want to just play Petty Officer. Yeah, I think... You know, against like the control deck here. I think it's better getting multiple bodies in play right away. Well, now I can't... Uh, let's see. I mean, I could attack with those things. Yeah, actually, let's attack with them. Let's put Straven down to one health. Which is pretty good for some of our other cards. And like I said, we want to be real aggressive, so let's get let's get that damage in. Now do we go with the monkey idol like I wanted to, or Let's do this. fate red card? Alright, we can't keep that thing from a dealing damage. So let's go monkey idol. They're at nine cards. I wish they had ten. Wish they had another spinning axe and <laughs> they'd burn a card. Ooh. For 
Fortune favors the bold. Doing this while they're like while this is happening, because then we're gonna have priority up next. Because this is their priority with the culling strike, so we get to go straight to attackers with these two. Well, good stuff for them. We keep getting urchins today. Or th these urchins need to have the last breath draw a card, not the discard one, draw one. Yeah, like this this deck's just basically trying to to curve out and and win pretty quickly. There isn't uh, It's true there's not really card advantage in here. You know, card draw. Too much. You have You do have like some nab cards, right? Like you have Black Market Merchant, Yodel Grifter. Those things can definitely Generate cards. All right, so we can do all three things. Be nothing left when I'm done. There's one pill for goods. So my plan is go Twisted Fake Gold Card. They kill the Powder Keg. In response, then we get to make a rain in response to that. So make a rain's actually dealing the two damage, which is what I want it to do. Well, that will level up Ezreal. Why would you not count Yoink as card draw? It, it absolutely I mean you're drawing you're drawing a card, you just draw a card from your opponent's deck. So that's exactly what you're doing, is drawing a card. That was nice to see. That other two one. Almost there, down to two. Unless they have zero mana, something. Down to two. Ugh. They won't stew like a yodel in uniform. Not super useful. Does mean if we find Warning Shot, Warning Shot's a lot better. Because th they have a lot of burn spells in their deck as well. Come on, Yordle Grifter. Looks like trouble. So 
So doing that so we get to replay Twisted Fate, we'll go red card. Put him down to one. Just need one little warning shot. Something and we'll draw one card from their deck. Maybe Static Shock. Static Shock, Mystic Shot. No! <laughs> Not calling strike. We need burn spell. Alright, well. Draws us another card. Next turn. Kind of getting there. Things they can give us a lot more puff caps. So we're drawing two cards with our 20 puff caps. Just want to draw Yordle Grifter. Or that Mystic Shot. Take warning shot. They're gonna force me to calling strike this Draven's biggest fan, aren't they? Gave them the opportunity to cast the Spinning Axe first. They didn't do it. Deny is our fleeting spell. The worst fleeting spell. Come on deck, we just need one point of damage. That is the worst fleeting spell. Yes! Now please don't kill me! Yay! Whew! Yordle Grifter, saving the day. Because they can't play Ezreal and retain priority to then play burst spells. A warning shot through the heart. And Yordle Grifter is not too late. Ooh, just got there. Just got there, but that's all you gotta do. Doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. We're one and oh. Alright, so maybe I 
Like, am I not supposed to be mulliganing Riptide Rex? It's just, it's the 8 mana card. I think I keep it in my opener. It seems like I'm supposed to keep it in my opener. Everything costs three. Anything that costs two. So yeah, I mean, I love Monkey Idol, especially a matchup like this where they just play a bunch of like little crappy things, like just having uh, Powder Monkeys just be in here and just being nuisances. Uh, definitely seems appealing. But that's a lot of stuff on turn two. Guess I have to lead with Petty Officer to be able to block Elise immediately. You fight or you swim. You can see the Demacian border from here. And they call me a pool shark. Elise, where are you? A pretty present you make. Still only single spell. This one's probably not going to be a win. But we going to be trying. Still can only single spell? Jeez. So red card with Twisted Fate would kill four things. It would level up Callista. And then with those four things, they draw an extra card with Sentry and one of you know replaces with the Spiderling. Good. We're not dead yet. We're not dead do I want to play? I guess it could be red card with Twisted Fate to kill these things before Callista comes down. I guess we could do that. Sorry. Um, I have seven mana next turn. Should have been monkey idol. We shall pierce their treasonous arse. So we could maybe have thinking like Petty Officer make Powder Keg Twisted Fate with the Powder Keg Gold Card kill Callista that way. Oh, 
Or we just let them have leveled up Callista and just red card. Let him have leveled up Callista and red card. Let's see. Well, I can't pull this back down. Okay, there we go. Four blockers next turn. May not be enough blockers. Hey, TF. How's the partner? Pretty good. Quit smoking. This does mean that Atrocity can kill me. I do have the four mana for Deny. That hurts. Shit, yeah, Big Alfredo. Super long stream today. We've had some, some long decks for sure. We've, we've playing five today also. That a, do I just do I just tap under deny mana? <laughs> well, we can make this attack first. Okay, no atrocity. That's good. Um, Stole the Russians! Shackle the prisoners! Boys, we are prisoners! Pretty good. Potentially. You pick the losing side. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. Easy. not sold them again supposed to tap under deny mana I guess they only have one only have one card in hand as far as atrocity is concerned and haven't really been willing to play that card Better to play Butcher? No, probably better to attack with this thing. Love ya. Cool, get to do both. I can play my two Mega Rains first, or I can play them after. Am I supposed to play them first or after? 
I guess first. No, maybe after. Yeah, after. Well, that wasn't the best. You needed, you know, like, a whole bunch on, like, one of these things to try to do as much damage to them as I could. That's what I was hoping for. Didn't really accomplish the job. Really? We gotta kill Callista. Oh my gosh. Come on. Never stop shooting. Yes, I need to draw Will of Ionia. That is not Will of Ionia. Can take your Drifter? Or sorry, take Atrocity? Take Atrocity, I meant? No! Ah, if I take Atrocity. We got a double warning shot Atrocity. That's what I needed. I need them to play another one instead of going straight to attacks to give me a shot. Man, what if we would have just taken that atrocity right there? And they're doing the this is fine emote. And then I'm just like, yeah, this is fine. And then this atrocity warning shot, warning shot. I guess it'd be the other way around, but. Oh. Almost stabilized from that awesome hand they had where they attacked us for, what, eight on turn two? Something like that. Seven. They attacked us for seven on turn two. Put us to 13 before we played anything. Rain could be good against Jaw Hunters. Wonder if I should just keep it. Let's see, keeping Mega Rain. Because I don't have very many good two mana cards. There we go. No. Oh well. They just obliterate all the cards that Mega Rain are good against. <laughs> Why'd they have to have the one drop? We would have had Black Market Merchant turned on. That would have been great right here. We'll save that for later. We won't help them out with... Danger Wow. We won't help them out with their... Um, they're going deep. Maokai. So Twist of Fate's probably my best card to play, but then it's really bad against the Sapling. Go for the high upside with Yordle Grifter. Twist of Fate, I'm, what, looking to gold card? That doesn't really work either. Maybe blue card with Twist of Fate? I'm gonna go with Grifter. My friends, though. Ah, 
right, so we'll just go red card now after the Grifter. It'd be really nice to play Misfortune first, but that does let them. Yeah, we're still going to. It does let them, you know, play something and make it get a two-one. This could let. Two life steal. Gotta trust your instincts. I wish I had the room for Dreadway Deckhand. I just don't have the room for Powder Keg. But if I had the room for Powder Keg, that would make this a lot better. What do you want me to do with all my mana instead of salvage? I guess just deny. That for the Withering Whale. So I want, yeah, I wanted to find Make It Rain. Uh, that was the card. I wanted to find Make It Rain with the Salvage because then that would allow me to attack with a lot more. If I did have Make It Rain available, also. So that was my reasoning of um, playing the Salvage first. Probably isn't worth a deny. If I deny that, then I can't have this kind of stuff, like make it rain with the powder keg. Didn't kill Maokai, but we saved Twisted Fate. Five out of eight right now. All hands on deck. I didn't play the one that Euro Grifter created, the one that they knew about. Should have played the one they knew about.
I think we need three Will of Ionias, not three Denies. I think those should be switched. Instead of three Deny, two Will of Ionia. I think it should be switched. Just these huge units like They Who Endure, Nautilus, like these things are everywhere. Will of Ionia is the card I need. The card I need. Do you want to get back to work? Ugh. I need that card. So we could Riptide Rex again, that wouldn't... I wouldn't be protecting Twisted Fate at all if I did that. I'm gonna pass. If they wanna pass turn also, I'll be happy with that. Yeah, I think this is just a, a, a perfect Will of Ionia metagame. Meta Everybody is... Everybody's playing cards that are weak to it because nobody's playing the card. The opponent picking how this works or what? Just have them all go after the thorny toad. I'm a people person. Seem very good. All or nothing. Yeah, I want to make that attack before they played another blocker. Jagged Butcher, am I playing you now, or am I playing you next turn? I don't really see any reason to play you now. We'll play you next turn. Oh, they're at one? 
Why did I not realize that they are a one? Get a red card. No, Withering Whale. I'm a people person. Treasures of the ages for a price. That doesn't help. Yeah, sorry, the Zed's Fortune deck uh, got replaced with this version, with Fate Fortune, by the person that donated. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're, we're basically going to be milling ourselves out next turn, for sure, for sure. We have next turn as our only turn to maybe win. So we have one Twisted Fate left out of these five cards. We have to draw it. Okay, we drew it. That was step number one. You are not wanted here, intruder. Like that's ever stopped me. First thing we play will be blue card, which will draw this card for us. four cards in their hand they're just not doing anything is it more more maokai's more nautilus who says i don't share Watch the ball, folks. I get one more point of across. So we have we now currently have six attackers and they'll have five blockers because of the goal card. I mean, let's see. If... I mean, they had the opportunity to play something right then anyway. All right, GG's. We got the two two points of damage in. They had four blockers. We had the six attackers. Got there. 
We don't need no cards and library. Uh, we don't need no more turns. Yeah, so I have to cast Will. So they were playing. Um, they played Grasp the Undying on my Twisted Fate, which was going to drain three from it. Right, and so I had to bounce my own Twisted Fate to keep them from gaining three life, because if they gain three life, the game's over. All right, well, Monkey Idol's not as good against Challenger dot deck. It's a very good card to challenge. Um, Black Market Merchant also probably not the best here. We're not playing that card forever, at least. I do like Yordle Grifter and a Petty Officer. So we'll keep those. And we'll just have some one mana 2-2s. Sure. Trade one drops. That's fine. One mana answer to Fleet Feather Tracker. Nothing wrong with that. No, they would not have won if they would have done that during combat. They would have still been down one blocker, but... Um, yeah, because at that point they had four blockers and I would have had six with the Twisted Fate. But I... I may have cast, like, Will of Ionia first. Oh, no, no, I would not have with them having the that five mana card. Okay, so that's basically why I didn't... Um, didn't just lead with the Petty Officer, because then they could play Fiora. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just go with the Black Market Merchant and see if we find any answer to Fiora. That is not currently. That is. That'll do. Best case scenario for me, they challenge one of these two with Fiora and do not challenge with Tracker. And that's it. And then I play Twisted Fate Red card and kill both of those. That's the absolute best case scenario. Alright, so that's not going to quite happen. But I can go... Hmm. After combat? Yeah. Yeah. Pass turn. You think they just don't attack? No, my best case scenario did not include them having Ranger's Resolve. I did not want to see that card. Show them what we're made of. Well, I was planning on if they, they go challenge, then I would play Powder Keg the after combat and then untap and go red card. Safeguard our citizens. Nothing stands in our way. Time to get rich. Well, these these things are, you know, they match up better as three power than two power. Defend our banner. Still gold card to kill Fiora. Really? Dang, I think I just let that happen. I mean, I guess I could deny, but... I don't know, it's just a 2-2. It's not like I'm leveling up to a Sephate anyway. Like, they can just challenge and kill the 2-2 with the tracker. 
Like, what, if I deny this, then they just kill it with Tracker, so it's like, what's the point? Oh, that levels up Fiora. That's the point. Well Whoops. Guess I should deny that. Do not waver. No. All right, good trades. Because that was not Fiora killing everything. So that's always good. Dang. Dang. Five at Fiora? Riptide Rex is sending a message. the best card to have. This would be quick. Protect house floor. Seven damage. What is this? So they have another single combat in hand? Right, that has to be another single combat. I can't play Monkey Idol because then I don't have a deny mana. Resolve, not single combat. So I could bounce Fiora. Hmm. 
No, Rangers wasn't the top deck. That was the card they just played, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's true. You can't hover over Rangers. It's a burst speed. Oh, that's actually true. Okay, so they probably still do have single combat. Hmm. Alright, this time... Riptide Rex hates everything but Fiora. Time Riptide Rex is a huge Fiora fan. This Fiora has to kill four things again. It is While it is leveled up and they played a new leveled up, this Fiora has killed nothing. So it does need to kill four things for them to win the game. No, it's just Shadow Flare. Give all battling followers ephemeral. Not. She can. She's not impressed. Um, so that's nine. So that'd be fifteen total mana. <clears throat> yeah, not Dawn and Dusk. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. Dawn and Dusk Powder Monkey. He's still good. Soldier to me. All right, GGs. We had. William and Deny didn't really have to worry about much. Monkey Idols did their job, finished it out after the Riptide Rexes. And we're three and one with Fate Fortune. Good old. And Monkey Idol is a good card. It's a card I need to play more of. We talked about that with our um, Commander Ledros Dreadway combo deck. How Monkey Idol is real good in there. Just so good with Gangplank. And of course, Rex. And just all the damage that Bilgewater can do, it can really add up. So Deny is kind of weird. It's great for turn 3 Remembrance, but kind of besides that, it's really not that good in this this deck. Oh, Braum Sejuani. I was thinking this was Braum Ash. This is Braum Sejuani. Huh. Fight. 
fight or die. Yeah, this deck's a little different. The winter's claw. Just, you know, saw the Demacia, and I was just thinking this was the Ash, like, Poro deck. Get him, Powder Monkey. Block three one. Broke if you work, burn if you don't. Man, they really do want to pass. I need Will of Ionia. More Will of Ionia. Yeah. Pain is nothing. Boo. Hey TF. How's the partner? Pretty good. Quit smoking. Dead in there. Pretty good. So I think I just attack with everything. Two, four, six. Oh, right, that thing's gonna die. Yeah, I think I just try to do as much damage as possible and attack with everything. This puts him down to two. Teeth. They block there. <laughs> this allows them to replay Radiant Guardian. Need another Will of Ionia. So I'm gonna go Pool Shark or Yordle Grifter. Safety will cost you. Yuck. This land is out. I need that card. Why can't I make a rain target my own thing? This one's trouble. Wheel? Maybe over. We're so close. We got three damage in hand, and they're at five. We're so close. Gotta trust your instincts. I guess I just should not have attacked with misfortune and let and have them let them have something die. Rendia needs you to pay up. the ball folks virtue guides me we'll take what we need to survive pledge to Sejuani's service more will of Ionia less deny Give us 
some room. Stay back. Love you. Six for Twisted Fate. Dang, we got to seven. We got to seven. Game just we just got no chance now. Pride will cost them. But these denies were rule of Ionia's. Got a chance earlier. Man, I can't even. I can't even kill this thing. So we are three out of four and a seven out of eight. So sad. Just nabbing these useless two fours. Well, I guess I can counter that. Let's show our friends the door. Ha! This is fun, yes. So will they create a 3-3? Three, three? Banish the unworthy! Yeah, I guess they'll create a 3-3 three, three that they'll just die. I'm sorry. GG's. Yeah, with that game, we were real close. Um, I think I just could not attack with the Misfortune and let their Sejuani die That now that we knew about that Radiant Guardian. I don't know. I don't know what I... But yeah, I'd have to say that Splashing for Will of Ionia seemed amazing. This card was awesome. There's just so many huge units that you just want to balance, and I think that it's definitely a three of. And Deny really didn't look very good. And... It's okay, I guess, at best, but it really didn't look that good. But Will of Ionia, great card. I wonder if you can just play more of that stuff. Like, with how slow this format is, this is something... Maybe we'll try this out tomorrow. It's something that I've been talking about wanting to do is just play a deck that just goes real... Like, this is not this deck, but I'm just saying that I want to play... Like, maybe play a Yasuo deck that just goes really big with tons of Mina Swiftfoots with how slow this format is. Recall seems amazing. Like, I wonder, like, Mina Swiftfoot, probably awesome. But I don't know if, like, this deck, this deck, if you want to play any more, like, Dragon's Rages or, um, you know, anything else to try to get more bounce. But, yeah, Will of Ionia, really good. All right, so there we go. So that's Fate of Fortune. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. Uh, let me know if you've been having any success with different Will of Ionia decks these days after the after the nerf with um, the format really turning into a great Will of Ionia format. But anyway, that's it here for this video. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next one.